This is a live steam test on a Southworth Engines 12 inch steam pump. I've had quite a few of these and they really are great pumps if they're well made and this one was very well made. The pump was very leaky when I first got it and in fact it still leaks slightly but this is only the gland on the water cylinder. And here it is running in slow motion and in this clip you can clearly see where the water's coming from. Originally water issued forth from just about every possible orifice I can think of but after making a new gasket and using some Loctite 542 on some of the bolts, all the leaks disappeared, except for this one, which is very easy to remedy. The first run that I gave this engine when it was very leaky was on compressed air, and now it's running on steam, you can also see that the gland on the piston rod is leaking as well. What's really impressive about this pump is the water flow. It's a double acting cylinder, and the water flow from the pump is very, very even. The pump of course is not pumping against the boiler pressure and the boiler pressure at the moment is only about 30 pounds per square inch anyway. The regulator or throttle for this pump is on the exhaust outlet and this is quite a common thing to do with pumps of this type and sometimes the pumps respond much better to an exhaust regulator than an inlet regulator. The knocking sound that you can hear is not the piston hitting the top and bottom of the water cylinder these type of pumps have what's called a shuttle piston and that's what you can hear travelling end to end in its own little cylinder in the steam chest. The fix for the piston rod gland was pretty similar to the fix for the water pump gland. Just a case of tightening up the nut slightly. Not a good idea to do it while the engine's running because even though it's going very slowly you really do not want to get your finger in the way of that piston. It's a bit of a health and safety nightmare but I do like to live life on the edge. I've created a playlist on this channel and I've called it Steam Powered Boiler Feed Pumps and I've featured several boiler feed pumps in steam and also running on compressed air. Have a look at the duplex pump that was built by a good friend of mine called Roger Kroll which sounds like a steam locomotive. Depending on the pressure that you feed to these pumps obviously depends on the speed that they go at and in this clip I'm really slowing the pump down to make it run incredibly slowly. And here it is in slow motion again. When running in slow motion, model steam engines look quite like the full size. On the pressure gauge at the moment is nearly 40 pounds per square inch. And this is a gas fired test boiler, so it's very easy to control. I tend to only use the coal fired boiler when I know that the engine connected to the boiler runs very well because whilst I'm fiddling with the engine, I'm likely to miss the fact that the water is disappearing off the bottom of the gauge. And this of course is very serious with a coal fired boiler. The safety valve on this boiler is set to blow off at 80 pounds per square inch, and as you can see by the gauge, that's just what it's been doing. This by the way, is the exhaust pipe. I fitted an extension to the original exhaust because I didn't want the condensate going all over the bench. Instead it goes on the floor, which is marginally better. Unlike the coal fired boiler plant that I've featured in several videos, this boiler pump is not connected to the boiler itself, so it's unable to feed water into it. And the water's now running low, so I'm having to pump some clean water into the boiler using the hand pump. Sacrilege I know, but I'm only testing this pump, it's not a permanent installation. And once again, this is in slow motion, and as you can see, there's no water flooding out of the gland at the bottom and no water dripping out of the steam gland at the top. This is quite a good old boiler and it's made from quite thick metal. And now the gas is turned off, the pump still runs for a while as the pressure drops. This is at 10 pounds per square inch. This is a good tip for any beginners out there. Whenever you've finished running your steam engine, whether it be a pump or a rotary steam engine, Always pump some oil through the engine cylinder, particularly if the engine is cast iron. That strange noise, by the way, is my chair. It's a bit rickety and creaks when I sit on it. So as soon as you finish steaming the engine, don't forget you must get rid of all traces of water from a cast iron cylinder. Otherwise, when you put the engine away, rust will form inside the cylinder. And the next time you run the engine, you may find that the piston is stuck. This also happens quite frequently in model steam locomotives. And the ideal scenario is when nothing else but oil comes out of the exhaust pipe, it's time to put the engine away. And the water side of the engine is unimportant, 
because that's made of gun metal and doesn't rust. Steam pumps are really clever gadgets. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.